Welcome aboard passengers, Mega Sim here. How you doing? Hopefully doing well. Ted, there is nothing up there. Don't worry. We've got the news article, the roadmap, that is released today, 8th of March. Before we start, person 111, I'm still waiting for your direct message. You have until 9pm GMT tonight to respond. After which, I will choose someone else randomly of course i'll use that random selector no idea if it's going to be live or pre-recorded or whenever it's going to be but if you ain't coming to us person 111 it's gonna to have to be given to someone else so let's go for the oh that's why there's a bowl there's a bowl that's in my bin and i've just taken it out and he loves it so this week uh, the roadmap is going to be talking about the progress being made with Spirit of Steam, Harlem Line, Creators Club, Beta, and the upcoming changes planned for the roadmap. So first of all, Spirit of Steam. Teams continue to work hard developing Spirit of Steam, and Dovetail have some exciting footage showing the progress that's being made. Executive producer Matt Peddleston will be joining us on the stream tonight. Uh, well, not us, them. Tonight and this week. Uh, I guess it's tonight. Anyway, discussing how the development is coming along. The video below highlights the improvements that have been made to the motion blur. <coughs> Just a sec. Excuse me, this cough's not going. Because I've got asthma, my cold has gone to my chest. Anyway, I'm doing all right, but I've just got a bit of a cough. I have taken the test, don't worry. Anyway. Uh, as a lot of people already be familiar, uh, motion blur is less than ideal the way it currently works. Um, so some people turn it off, uh, others turn it on and promise never to look at the wheels because it looks awful. So this is sometimes tolerable for small wheels and modern trains. However, it is impossible to ignore on a steam locomotive because they've got such big wheels. So with this in mind, the team started looking at options to try and resolve the issue. So with the motion blur enabled, whilst the majority of the scene looks much better and gives a fantastic impression of speed and motion, there are significant issues with the way the wheels are rendered, to which the blur extends beyond the wheels spoiling the effect. Okay. So the underlying reason is that by default, the motion blur is linear, it's straight lines, so it's assuming everything is moving in a line and not in a circle. In later versions of our reel, there is a simple radial motion blur that can be added. However, Dovetail did use that or try to use it, and it seems to work best with a car wheel, not with an open spoked steam engine wheel. So the team spent more time working on that and have been able to create a new Unreal material which performs various technicalities, combining its own processing on top of the radial motion blur to allow them to resolve the issue very nicely. While this works on the wheels on the steam locomotive, they are also now looking to see how they can employ it on all wheels going forwards. So let's have a look at this uh, this video. So here is the before. So we can see here, as we start blurring up, we see this weird effect here, look. that just doesn't look right. Not at all. Let's zoom in. Do you know what? I need to stop. Oh, yeah, that. Oh, that looks awful. You can see that. Well, you can see the blur on it. Oh, man, that's bad. Yeah, that's bad. Anyway, let me just check. I am. Yeah, I am on that. So the after this is the new motion blur. Oh, we're OK so far. very nice that's more like it you can see that look it's not coming out of the wheel look it's not coming oh, stop moving <laughs> it's not coming out of the wheel but it's in the spokes i like that All right let's come back on that i have no idea what videos are being shown so i like that so that new motion blur is gonna be pretty nice so yeah, looking forward to trying that out when Spirit of Steam comes out. I'm going to mention it because I always, always... Oh. Hey! Excuse me! Excuse me! Yeah, that's what I thought. Everyone asks every single time. There is no date for Spirit of Steam. No date. 
we will get the date and as soon as we get the date we'll let you know the date we don't even know what the date is of harlem line which we're going to be looking at next there's going to be a preview this thursday of harlem line but there is no physical date yet but we'll probably find out this week probably not that i know i'm just saying probably find out this week so whilst we wait for the spirit of steam we can also look forward to the harlem line grand central terminal to north white plains which is available soon no date so they spoke to the development team about one of the areas they spent some extra time on with harlem and this is adding snow and rust on the tracks in the first couple of images you can see is what an earlier route, the Tarantarampe, looks like in the way it renders junctions. Key areas to look at are the sudden change to the rust track on the frog and then in the winter. These areas remain uncovered in snow. The second set of images, okay, so let's look at the first one. Okay, so yeah, 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 that looks good. And yep, so look, it's uncovered, but a little bit of snow on it okay the second set of images are from harlem there's now a smooth blend to the rust on the frogs and in the winter rusty tracks not just the frogs but all rusty tracks including disused sidings will now get a covering of snow to make them more clearly separate from the main tracks you'll also need to see that in the harlem shots the chairs the rails sit on now have snow on it <coughs> excuse me as do the base rails the base of the rails are themselves so let's have a look so yeah you can see that there you can see the snow uh, there are numerous other small changes in details that our infrastructure team have worked hard on paying extra attention to details such as the type and position of the third rail and so forth oh yeah look at that you can see the snow there that's a lot nicer look you can't see it there but you can definitely see the snow building up there that is nice that is nice it, every time we get a route from dovetail games they find some way of making it better but the only downside to that is all the older routes you're like oh really wish oh really wish that could be on the old route they'll eventually get around to it but that is really decent i like that so the next point creators club beta so the response has been staggering there has been over 285,000 subscriptions to mods from the community so people have uploaded 3,665 mods. Pretty much all of them are liveries. Look at that, 2,800 liveries, nearly 2,900 liveries, 781 scenarios. The individual user subscribed to the most mods is currently sub to 796. If you are one of my viewers, A, give us a little shout out. And the most creations uploaded by one individual is 51. Wow. 51 that's that's a lot i'll have to have a look at that i need to know who that is because is it all liveries is it scenarios not sure that's a lot so dovetail have had immense joy looking at what everyone's created so far and the outstanding qualities of liveries that they've been designed or you've been designing and now drum roll Dovetail are pleased to share that Avanti are now on the list of approved brands. So we can share them on the Creators Club beta. So if you have an Avanti West Coast, uh, <coughs> excuse me, an Avanti West Coast uh, 395 or an ICE, bam, you can put it on Creators Club. I know there have been some debadged Avantis, so please get out there, put that Avanti logo on, or try to create it. Bam! That's going to be good. In addition, you can also look forward to the approved list of brand logos being added to the livery as decals, as stickers in the coming weeks. So no more, oh yes, this is the Southern logo and it looks slightly off. Nope, you are going to be able to put it as an official logo an official brand logo on livery designer now that is going to be good just to let you know that dovetail have not approached me yet for my logo so dovetail i am waiting for that call i don't mind i would like to work with you to get my uh my logo on there <laughs> anyway right preservation crew so this week there have been significant movement in the order 
<coughs> excuse me with this cough <clears throat> So Adam said that it's an anticipated move movement in the previous smoke map. So some items such as Peninsula Corridor have been moved further down the list, as after testing they've shown they need more work. So we can see the current projected order of releases in the roadmap section, which we'll look at in a bit. These are subject to change, but the aim is to surface these all to us by the end of the summer, whilst looking to group releases in pairs where possible. Thanks, Ted. Luzerne to Cesse. Looking forward to that by River Games. Keep up to date with their dev blog videos. So we've got dev blogs of the 3D, uh, making the 523 ready, building the 523. There's some really good videos on there. So yeah, we started to get these videos. So I'm guessing about a month. We'll probably get it April, possibly May. Roadmap updates. Finally, continue to make additional changes to the roadmap. <coughs> so uh that they are able to provide us with valuable information more valuable information so they're not removing anything from the current format but adding more we'll still be able to track the movement of items as they get added and taken off and also be continuing the streams that coincide with the roadmap update this will be the last fortnight oh this will be the last fortnightly roadmap and going forth they will be monthly we intend to provide the community with a more in-depth look at the development of the project as they have started to do with this roadmap article. In order to do so, they'll be using this extra time to gather information from our development team. Sorry, I need to go off again. Development teams uh, and gathering more exciting content for us, such as interviews, video screenshots and more. Nice. So, DTG releases. We know Harlem Line coming soon. Probably in the next couple of weeks. Spirit of Steam, Liverpool Lime Street. Looking forward to that. That motion blur looks pretty good. Other releases we know: Esban Central Feeds Lausanne to Cersei by River Games is coming soon. Horseshoe Curve is still delayed slightly, but we'll get there with that. That's coming by Skyhook and the 420, the DBBR 420 EMU for the Hauptstrack of Munich Augsburg by TSG. Core features, dynamic billboards, which is the billboards that hopefully will be changing and doing different things, which is cool. Approved license brand stickers for the livery designer. PlayStation 5 Animal Limit Fix, that will eventually get there. PlayStation 4 to 5 profile transfer. I don't know, it's getting to a point where if I can merge them, that would be cool, but nah. And rush hour passenger system for a London commuter. Miscellaneous, dovetail live rewards, anyway. So the preservation crew. Many of these upgrades will simply be adding the latest game functionality to an old route. The additions or changes in the upgrade will include some or all of the following. Station departure boards, animated crossing, platform climb up functionality, improved track rendering, rush hour passenger density and appearance, support for rail driver, contact signaler functionality, minor fixes to scenery, minor fixes to audio, minor fixes to gameplay, minor fixes to menu items, livery designer compatibility, and scenario planner expansion. Why is London Bakerloo line there? <coughs> I thought we had an update, which, you know, also gave us the expansion pack. Maybe it's just because of the expansion pack. We will get one. Chanel Fastrick and Carl Larkin, I thought we had that as well. Main set up by, yeah. East Coastway, yeah. Uptrack and Munich Carlsberg, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, why is Great Western Express so low down? Now, you may have seen that dovetail uh, support post. So they figured out how to do passenger information screens on the Class 166. Um, because what it was, was you would have a destination, say Reading, um, but there was a train code. Say it was like 0162. But the board on the front only tells you the first two numbers. So they've decided on giving us select numbers and select destinations. But I think that's quite cool. I am looking forward to that. Plus the passenger information screens are great Western. That is gonna be epic. I can't wait to get them because I do like seeing them. Uh, Peninsula corridors further down, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, down to LIRR. Remove from the roadmap, Creators Club Beta, because that was completed. That is it with the roadmap, okay? I think this is pretty good. I am looking forward to the Harlem line. As they said, there is going to be an update or showcasing the Harlem line this Thursday. Matt Peddleston is going to be on the stream, hopefully tonight, to talk about Spirit of Steam. So that's going to be nice as well. And one final reminder, person 111, you have until 9 p.m. GMT tonight to let us know and make contact with me via the DM that I've sent you 
so we can get you your prize. If you don't come back to me by 9 p.m., I am unfortunately going to have to give it to someone else. Just putting it out there, okay? Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos from the Mega Sim. Social media links are in the description below. <coughs> I had no idea that this video was going to be 16 minutes, so I apologize for the length, but it's been a good one. It's been pretty packed. Anyway, I am Mega Sim and I am out of here. See you later, guys. Bye.